Police in Tracy, California, east of San Francisco, are investigating claims by a 17-year-old boy that he was held captive for more than a year and abused. Three adults are already under arrest. On Monday, the 17-year-old, emaciated and scared, stumbled into a health club wearing only boxer shorts and a link chain that was locked around his ankle. Just terrified, the poor little guy. He was, kept saying, you know, please don't let him get me, don't let him take me, hide me, hide me. The boy told authorities he had been held against his will at this home in Tracy after running away last year from a foster home in Sacramento, about 70 miles to the north. Late Monday, Tracy police went to the home and arrested 34-year-old Michael Schumacher and his wife, 30-year-old Kelly Lau. They've been booked on torture, kidnapping, and child endangerment charges. Four other children, ranging in age from 1 to 11, were also living at the home. But this morning, they are in the custody of Child Protective Services. Joining us now is Matt Robinson, public information officer from the Pol uh, Tracy Police Department, and Chuck Ellis from the InShape Sports Club. Good morning to you both, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Matt, let me start with you. Subsequently, this aunt has been arrested. Yes. Uh Karen Ramirez uh, was arrested in Berkeley, California around 9.30 last night. Um, she is uh, currently being held in custody and detectives uh, from Tracy PD will be interviewing her later today. We're going to have more on this uh, arrest uh, later this morning for uh, the media and uh, we'll be able to shed light on how she was arrested as well as uh, the case uh, and, and what she's been doing ever since. Okay, we'll get back to you in a second. Chuck, let me ask you this. You're in this, uh, in this uh, sports club. What happened? What did you see? What transpired? Well, the young man came in through our front door uh, to our front desk where we check in our members. And uh, he came in, went to the side. Uh, what did he look like? Person, Leah. He was, uh, looked like he was about 90 pounds. He was very, very thin. He was filled with dirt. Uh, our person thought it was actually somebody pulling a joke that was just outside. But when she got closer, she noticed that there was blood on him and there was injuries to his head and to his arm. And he was asking, please help me, hide me, hide me, please. And she allowed him to come back behind the desk. He went back behind our counter uh, and, and crouched down behind there. And at that point, other uh, staff people started to help him. Leah went to uh, call the police uh, on 911. They came and got me. I came over to the individual, leaned down to talk to him, and he looked up just terrified. I've never seen a young man scared like that in my life. Uh, he was just telling me, they're coming for me. Please don't let them take me. Don't let them take me. So we tried to reassure him that they weren't. And at that point in time, I got him calmed down a little bit. And uh, with the help of another staff person, we were going to ask him if he could walk over to the office. And as he got up, he leaned back over. And when he leaned over, I thought he was falling. So I grabbed onto him a little bit. And when I grabbed onto him, I noticed what he was doing was reaching down to pick up a chain that was locked to his ankle. God. Just, I mean, you don't plan on seeing something like this in Tracy, California. You know, this, this is a very fine community. And when this young man picked up that chain, it was unbelievable. I just didn't know what to say. And we were able to take him in and talk to him, calm him down. The Tracy police did an excellent job, come out. The paramedics came out and helped this young man and got him back. As you've been able to digest this emotionally over the last day or so, what, what are some of your thoughts? Uh, it's amazing. I have staff people and members coming in that uh, they just can't get the look out of this young man's. It, it's very difficult to explain how thin he was, how, how uh, filthy, how cut uh, the chain on his ankle. I mean, it's, a, it's an image that will definitely live a long time with a lot of people uh, at, at the club from members to staff to uh, even myself. Uh, you, your heart goes out to this young man. All right. Chuck Ellis, Matt Robinson, thanks very much for your time this morning, gentlemen. Take care. Thank you.